if you use pivot tables and you like to group them, you may come across this problem. So I've got two pivot tables. I want to group this one. So I'm going to say group. Let's go months and years. But when you group this one, the other pivot table groups as well. So unfortunately, these groupings seem to be attached. So there's two ways to address this. Firstly, when you build this one from scratch, you can do it in a different way. You need to, however, you cannot go the normal insert. You need to use a shortcut. So I'm just going to start it anyway. Just notice I clicked out of the pivot table. And I'm going to type Alt D P. And you'll see it goes through the old wizard. So I'm going to say next. It then says where's the data. So you'll go and you'll point to the correct data. It then warns you, do you want to save memory? If you do, this is what this achieved. Because you saved memory, when you group one, the other groups. So we're going to say no, don't bother saving memory. Where must it go? I'm just going to put it here. And when I say finish, it creates the pivot table. But you'll notice, if I take, let's just quickly create a big one, quick one. If I now go group this one, and years again and I say okay notice it doesn't affect the others now that's fine if you're going to create from scratch there is also a trick to make it that these two ungroup each other or um, um, disconnect the cache so to, to do that you click anywhere in the pivot table and again you do the same thing alt D P and here we're going to go so it's set up already, we're going to go back. And all we're going to do, just briefly, we're going to change where it looks. So I'm going to change that to row 934. So next, and we'll just finish it. Okay, so we've done that. So that stops the cache working, but we obviously are row short. So again, I'm just going to click in it, Alt D P. Go back and just put it so that's back on so we'll say next we're happy with that we'll say finish and now when we group this one you'll see that that one doesn't group so this is first way set it up from scratch knowing that you're going to be grouping and you don't want to always group and secondly if it's already set up just set um disconnect the caches so that the grouping doesn't flow through.